desire to cause you unnecessary embarrassment or any at all so far as I can help. That's Gandhi from Letter in Young India, March 12, 1930. We keep thinking that if we have a disagreement with another party, it has to be solved by, you know, the transfer of money or the uh, use of coercion of one kind or another. But Gandhi's key discovery was the need of every individual for dignity. And when dignity uh, is restored, is recognized, there is no problem that cannot be resolved. And I'm happy to say that there are schools of thought which are recognizing this today. Like our friend Evelyn Lindner uh, in, in Europe, uh, who is doing something called humiliation studies, which is, of course, the flip side of the, of the granting of dignity. But once you recognize the inherent dignity of the opponent, there's hardly any problem that cannot be resolved. Another way of looking at that is when we think that a quarrel is largely about something external, it really is about our dignity and the dignity of the other. <laughs> 